This is a tutorial for a language translator to use Audacity, in this case, to translate from Spanish to English. The original recording is of an investigation done in Spanish. The translator, in this case me, will be translating into English. Just a word of caution, I don't really translate Spanish into English, so in my examples here, please take that into consideration. To start out, the original recording of the Spanish investigation needs to be in MP3 format. I have another tutorial here to show how to convert from Windows Media audio format to MP3 if that's needed, if the original version is in Windows Media. But now that the recording is in MP3 format, we just need to load it into Audacity. Start by clicking on File and open. My file is located on the desktop. And here it is, original Spanish audio.mp3. That will load into Audacity. When the file is completely loaded, you'll see it look something like this, and can check the audio just by clicking somewhere in, in the timeline, which moves the vertical line cursor to that spot, and press the space bar or the green play button to start playback. Okay, press the space bar to stop playback and press the home button on the keyboard to return the cursor to the very start of the recording. I like to expand the the uh, visual uh, waveform here a little bit so clicking on this magnify plus for zoom in a couple of times now I can see uh, a, a bigger time scale which would be helpful as I do my own recording. The translated recording will be in a second track which will, will appear here down below the first track once we start going. Before we get started with that, we need to make sure under Transport that the Overdub option is checked. This allows for the first track to play back while the second track records. That is, the first track in Spanish plays while you listen to it and what you speak gets recorded into the second track, the English translation. Now that that's done, all it needs to, to do to get started is to press the R button on the keyboard or the record button here at top to get started. Here we go. This is the audio, is the audio recorded audio statement of Maritza Bautista and the investigator Jessica Sanchez, case number 134. Today's date is the 11th of April 2011 and it is approximately 9.44 in the morning and now I just made a mistake. I forgot to listen and uh, I need to fix my mistake. So I'm going to stop the recording by pressing the space bar. To fix a mistake like this, it's very simple. I'm going to expand this a little bit more by zooming in and then what I need to do is listen to what I recorded to find the place where I want to start re-recording. To do that, I click the solo button here. That means that when I play back, only this track that I just recorded will play back. The other track is now grayed out. I think I went awry right around here, so I'm going to click the cursor to right here and press the space bar to start playing and listen for where I want to start re-recording. And it's approximately 944 in the morning. And now I just made a mistake. I forgot to listen. Okay. Press the space bar to stop recording. So right here, before the waveform gets large, is where I want to start recording again. To do this, I need to delete this section to the right of the cursor. And that's done just by clicking and dragging like this to highlight the section. And then I press the delete key on the keyboard like that. 
that part of the waveform disappears and we're ready to go again. To continue recording from this spot, first we have to unsolo this track. And the key combination shift record, or under the transport menu item, append record, is what we need to do. We don't want to start recording again. Pressing R or selecting record here will open up a brand new track below the one we're recording in and start recording your voice there. We don't want that. So we want to append record and at that point we'll start hearing the Spanish again and I'll be able to record into the translated track. Here we go. Four far five nine nine. Also in the room is Maritza's mother, Ophelia Bautista. I'm going to ask, and now I'm just going to stop and check what I recorded. You probably won't because you'll want to go on as long as you can before you make the next have to make the next edit. But I'm going to play this back here. I'm going to solo again and press the space bar to play. And it's approximately 9:44 in the morning. Four, four, five, nine, nine. Also in the room is okay, so I have made my initial recording. I made one mistake. I erased the mistake and recorded over it. And that process you can iterate all the way through the end of the recording when uh, you've got a f one full translated track here at the uh, in the second track here. After this is done recording and you're satisfied with it, the audio f of this track can be exported into its own uh, mp3 or WAV file format. One thing to keep in mind as you continue doing this recording is being careful to solo and unsolo appropriately so that you don't get uh, the wrong thing recorded and also of course being careful to press shift R to append rather than just R or just record to accidentally create an additional track. One other thing when you are in the process of doing this, whenever you stop, it's a good idea to save the project here within um, Audacity to save your work. To do that, under File, Save Project, or Control S, the first time that you do this, it will prompt you for the name of the file to save it as. You may get this warning, and that's fine. It just says that the AUP extension is an Audacity format and only Audacity can open it. Once that box goes away, then you'll have the opportunity to give the project file a name. In this case I'm calling it original Spanish audio dot AUP because that makes sense to me. Once that's finished you can continue on recording or export the audio and that is all.